you understand the truth that you understand the good news of the gospel the gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ that all will come to repentance that all will turn away from sin and will be forgiven and understand the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ Jesus Christ laid down his life on the cross to pay the punishment for sin and he rose again on the third day and that is why when we come to Jesus Christ, we are dead to ourselves, and we become alive in Christ Jesus. He fills us with himself, his Holy Spirit, that we can live the God kind of quality kind of life. Jesus Christ enables us to understand what it means to be a kingdom citizen of heaven. He says, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you I'm going to prepare a place for you, but where I am, you will be there also. Jesus Christ wants you to be in heaven. I don't know about you, but I surely want to be in heaven. I believe that heaven is far greater than hell. Hell is a place where people are burning and they're, they're suffering and, and they don't have no second chance no more. Some people may say, oh, God does not exist. But let me ask you that question. Do you have a soul? Do you have a soul? Everybody has a soul. Everybody has emotions. Everybody has a will and intellect. And God said in his word that he created a man and a woman in his own image and likeness. We are created in the image and likeness of God. We are God's creation. And because we are God's creation, we can understand God. Like the same way you have, a, you have your parents, your parents speak to you. God is able to speak to you if only you pay attention to him. Today, many people are not paying attention to God and his word. And God has been trying to reach out to humanity. But humanity has rejected God Almighty. The clock is ticking. Ladies and gentlemen, the clock is ticking. We are in the last days. We are facing a crisis today, a pandemic. The Bible says a pestilence is a virus. The Bible is coming alive in the 21st century. It doesn't take a genius to understand that there's something happening around the world that no government can stop. I believe this is the time to wake up and really be uh, alert to the things of God. I believe this is the time where you begin to stop your, your religiosity or your, your all kinds of um, things that you believe in. You got to pay attention. Hey, God bless you. You got to pay attention to God because he's trying to reach to you. He's trying to reach out to you every single day. He's a loving father. And as a loving father, he wants to show himself strong in your life. A loving father will, good, will give good gifts to his children. And I believe God wants to give you a good gift, which is eternal life. He wants you to have eternal life today through Jesus Christ. He wants to save your life. Jesus Christ is narrow, is the way that leads to eternal life. And as many that find his way in Christ Jesus, you shall be saved. Religion cannot save you. The government cannot save you. That even today, that they're making clones. They're making clones and, and, and they, and they want to live forever. When you die, you're dead. That is it. You, you can do all the science experiments you want to do, but you're still dead. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, please, not enough. I'm pleading with you. Turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Please, ladies and gentlemen, understand that God cares about you. That is why he sent Jesus Christ to die for us all. On the cross, he paid a sacrifice for sin. That me and you can come to Jesus. That our sins are forgiven. That he fills us with his Holy Spirit. That we will become born again. That we will have a new life in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that all things have passed away. The all things of sin has passed away. Behold, I am new in Christ Jesus. I'm translated from darkness into light when I come to Jesus Christ. Sin will not be able to rule my life when I come to Jesus. The devil will not be able to rule my life when I come to Jesus Christ. The Bible says that the devil comes to kill, still and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come to give you life.